Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit about the different USB connection modes on the Motorola Droid X when connected to your computer through USB. I had someone ask me earlier about syncing pictures, etc., so I figured I'd make this video to help explain. Alright, when you hook your cable in, you'll get these notifications at the top. I don't know if you can see them on here. When you pull it down, you'll have several different notifications. One says USB debugging connected. You don't have to worry about that. Another says USB connection and a notification that says connection detected. The USB connection is where you'll want to go to change in between different modes. There's a PC mode, a Windows Media Sync mode, a USB mass storage mode and a charge only. Right now mine's on charge only. So on the computer it doesn't it doesn't show up. All it's doing is charging the phone. It's not syncing files or allowing me to copy anything from the phone. So if I want to switch modes, you go back into where it just was. Um, I'm going to start with the USB mass storage mode, which is the normal mode that I use. When you go to that, it'll activate on the phone and on your computer it'll pop up and ask, it'll say that it's a removable drive, what do you want to do, import pictures and video, etc, etc. I normally just open folder to view files. Here's the files on the Blackberry, on the, uh, sorry, Droid X. Um, you can browse through all the files. The, the files that you're normally going to go to are in the DCIM directory and then the camera directory. That's where it'll have all your pictures and videos stored from your camera on the phone. Next, same way, go back in, USB connection. This time I'm going to do Windows Media Sync mode. It activates on the phone and then on the computer in a couple of seconds we'll get this pop-up If you haven't done this before, it'll have to install a couple files and it'll take a minute or so. But it says Droid X. Um, it tells you information in here. No voicemails. I have 10 plus missed calls. Charging level. Um, new text messages. Uh, no new pictures. It says your storage, your free storage on uh, the memory card on the phone. Through here, you can manage media on your device, such as pictures, videos, and music. You can browse the files the same way that you're doing in the uh, USB mass storage mode. All the directories aren't there, but the main ones that you'll need are, including the DCIM with all the pictures and video. You can import pictures and video the same way that you do if um, you hooked a camera, a digital camera to your computer and let Windows copy all the new files in. You can also change a couple of the general settings such as the device name when it's connected to the computer and what you want it to default to do when you plug it in. I just have it set as take no action but you could have it to do things like sync your pictures or um, open up the browse files immediately. I just leave it as take no action so it stays on, it comes up to the screen. The other mode is PC mode. I'm not really sure what this one does. I've tried it, but on my computer when I do it, <coughs> it's never it never does anything that I'm aware of. I do hear it processing something, so I'll wait a couple seconds and see if anything comes up. I'll edit the wait out. Okay, I'm not going to wait anymore. I don't know what it's doing, so I advise not using that one unless you know what you're doing. Um, USB storage mode and Windows Media Sync mode are definitely the easiest to use. Um, if you know what you're doing, go with the USB mass storage. Uh, don't delete anything that you don't know what it is. Windows Media Sync mode is a little bit easier for people that aren't sure of all the directories and whatnot. And charge only if you just want to charge and you don't want to interfere with the computer. Say you're using someone else's computer to charge and you don't want it to start interfering with their computer.